humiliated Macron forced to call snap elections after France inflicts crushing defeat. Marine Le Pen party gained a 10 point increase. Uh, thanks to thanks to the French sale of What they refer to as uh, its new f newest fighter jet. Okay. I now know absolutely everything about and I have proofs for it. Uh, I now know absolutely everything about who was behind and how and this and that. And also how the MK Ultra works, how it all operates. A little earlier, they demonstrated Donald Trump. Uh, triumph and triumph. Yeah, it's already gone. It's already of the picture. Trump team clocked him lying about. Um, let me see that. Funny because a little earlier there was Donald Trump. It was a news about Donald Trump. Everything. F. Trump. Biden honors, this is not going in advantage of Donald Trump. This actually super tied with. Uh, uh, um, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to go like this. Uh, it looks really, really positive for Donald Trump. <clears throat> uh, they had a little earlier the news, and I did not log one, about the Donald Trump giving the speech without a teleprompter, without anything. Uh, I understand that he went completely wild, that he rocketed. Um, and the way uh, MK Ultra, the way this stuff works, is basically like this. He works like this, and uh, you will start to understand also through this video how American diplomacy works. Uh, let me show you the American diplomacy. Yeah, this is going to be quite expensive video for American diplomacy. George Bush. Oh, this is really, really nasty criminal stuff. So criminal, so nasty, they can be more nasty and criminal than what it is. The way American diplomacy works is by basically, I was used, I was suggested, I'm a rabbit, I'm a shit, I'm a nobody. And I would even have to prove that they're innocent. I would even have to prove their innocence and so on in crimes they're involved. And this is basically how I am proving their innocence. This is how it was translated to me during MKUltra and based on the news that follow up this year, I have no reason not to believe that something like this is not happening. I did not log this news from Yahoo about Donald Trump speech, teleprompter. Let me see if I can get maybe Donald Trump crowds teleprompter without teleprompter. Donald Trump. Broken teleprompters about technical problem Las Vegas rally. You see, he's, he is 
twisted into all sorts of conspiracy theories because I guess he doesn't have enough money for the fucking teleprompter. And he needs the teleprompter because there is no such thing like a Bluetooth technology that whispers in your ears whatever you need to say. Right, Donald Trump? I mean, is it like you don't have it for the Bluetooth? You can go to AliExpress and buy yourself maybe one for a few dollars and it's going to work as usually does in your ears. And you're going to look without teleprompter. But the teleprompter, this is the same thing like this here. It's this here that you see. This shit here. Because this shit is here, you see, is used to... To cover up for this kind of stuff and this is joint by the way the government is using really like this so telepump donald trump and all that stuff the man is all about the scum he's a scumbaggery everything but he's not the only one it started with george bush the rabbit thing and let me demonstrate you how these people are enforcing their crime crime is a politic obviously it works like this once i published this news here about the sixth generation fighter about a macron id about a french mirage 2000 assistance i just want you to understand how difficult this stuff is I am not saying that you, you should appreciate this stuff, but I will demonstrate to you now who is behind it all and how difficult this shit is, actually. I pointed out this issue here about uh, Macron in 2008. And yes, Macron in 2008 got in my face and uh, he was really, really unpleasant. He was actually angry, agitated with me, and claimed in my face that I've done something to him that is represents him and a light, and he is not, and et cetera, et cetera. Once he stressed me his issue in my face, as per my causing him, I don't know, what kind of problems? Emmanuel Macron did not hesitate to start to make a sale of the French fighter jet to the Russian side. That was in 2008, to be completely, completely exact. And it was, Macron at the time was so aggressive in my face. It was actually really bizarre. It was a very, very short MK Ultra session during which he was incredibly agitated, incredibly angry with me and blamed me for something, for whatever he blamed me. I was in his eyes, whatever, at the time. Uh, to even suggest me that it will be Ukraine that will pay ultimate price for this, that I will remember what I did, and that he fucked me and I don't know what, and so on, and it will be Ukraine that will eventually will pay the ultimate price for this stuff. It is a stuff, Macron did this stuff so efficiently that it was an enormous part of memory pertaining to this criminal case that I completely missed on i made a tremendous mistake so first about how difficult this stuff is it's extremely difficult because they continue to build this case in 2009 and in 2010 it was a french general 
in charge for the French, at least definitely for the French Air Force, if not for the French defense. I'm not going to go and see it. Who was? All right, let's go and see it. French general. Ah, uh, let me see this here. 2009. This guy was actually blonde, you know. The guy I'm talking about was blonde. Um, these people, <clears throat> except the Philippe on, were all involved in it. Uh huh. Wait a minute now. This is uh, this looks familiar. How much is this familiar? How much pertaining to this case? <laughs> let me let me visualize the guy because the guy looks like this guy was definitely involved in it. But the guy I'm talking about was more he was he was more blonde, he was more he was like more lighter hair and he more looked like German, Belgian, Dutch, um, light complexion, French guy. So this guy here is out of the picture. So what about the Air Force, French General? Let me see this here. It was complexion wise, when it comes to complexion, uh, it looked like this here, but he, he was blonde. But the facial characteristics, they match most of this guy, Lance or French. It was like this, but he had a blonde hair. Okay, so it would be exactly what I stated to you. He was light skinned and he had a blonde hair. All right, that's all there is to it. This was another individual that uh, implicated and he started to give me also what I rated as a schizophrenic speech in front of the Russians. Uh, started to twist uh, well I have to do this part of the camera uh, I don't know how you call that if, um, in Slovenia they call it Jurček they call it uh, I don't know marionette or whatever it is but you would you would put like on a surface something that is of the specific uh, design features and turn this thing and I'll spin it, right? And it would just go, you know, and it would go, boom, finally, right? And so they explained to me that the one that lasts the longest when you do this is the most suitable for the fighter jet um, design. This is how they saw this to the, to the Russians. Um, on opportunity in 2008, it was Macron that claimed that. And um, they made a, such a circus around this thing, uh, implicating Ukraine in it, that I would have no reason to believe that this is exactly what was not the case exactly what I have written here. So, however, there was more to it. This was the case here. This was this, this was the thing. This shit went on also in 2009. In 2010, they officially have inked, they basically signed, Russians signed something that gave them, uh, you know, notice, whatever, unofficial notice that it was French who sold them this uh, fighter jet, this type of fighter jet, design, everything for one. 
uh, they acknowledge this stuff and um, I'm not going to waste my time on this stuff here. All I'm going to say is the first few minutes of this video pertains to everything that I was brainwashed with. Um, I am not going to go and waste time with this stuff here. Like I said, let me just see something if I can get to. Uh, they really sickening stuff claim me that this is the most efficient that this is the best and obviously they they wanted to make the point out of it literally by directing a portion of this speech using emmanuel macron uh, against ukraine that it will smash ukraine etc 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 what exactly is this thing here well, the French did not release this kind of fighter jet anytime, any any soon. Officially, they did not release one. Uh, for the people that are not, they don't know the background of this stuff. It would actually look like. You know, as they approach the carrier, while France is planning a carrier-based version of its new fighter, it is important to note that naval operations are not the driver behind the Superman. Um, well, the Russians were the first who released this fight type of fighter jet. The first fighter jet was released in 2010, and the first one that released this fighter jet was actually, uh, you know... It was Russians, it's called SU-57. So now, now it could only be based on the stuff here seen, it could only be that it was, you know, French that copied uh, Russians, right? I mean, no, isn't it? I'm not gonna go over this video, fuck this, I'm not gonna go over this. I was delivered afterwards, I don't know what, for what reason, why? Maybe because I like this lady here in the computer. Uh, I really wasn't so much interested in the computer work when I met her, but more I was interested in her. And she was involved in MK Ultra. I don't know, man. Maybe since I was a kid or something like that. I had to go through university with her, and I had to... Uh, ah... She is here somewhere, the lady. Uh, all right, she is somewhere, okay? You have to watch this video here, but do not believe this stuff. Trust me, this is the first hand what I have to say to you. So they, they built this case in my head against Ukraine in 2009 and 2010, assuring the Russians, you know, in front of me, literally, how efficient this stuff is. And, but this is the thing, you know, Putin was extremely pleased with it. Uh, they were like, you know, doing like this. Yeah. And really, in, they, 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 they delivered me to the France, to this headquarters, where they would design this plane. This is what this lady does. So it's what they do. They play with the, with the G-force, whatever. Uh, whatever is defined gravity the best design uh, that spins longest this is the one this is how the plane is got to be about everything about uh, it's about different characteristics but for the fighter jet the, the optimal the main thing is uh, uh, gravity uh, the ability to withstand gravity for as long as possible spin around uh, that's the ultimate design, and etc. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Um, in 2010, you have this. This is a long video. This this is just a lot of information again. Uh, you have this jet, Russians release. It's called Su-57. So Su-57. This one here. In 2010, they released exactly this design here, and uh, uh, I was brainwashed that it, it, they had a very little time to release this fighter jet, you know, and, uh, you know, based on the stuff that I have written here, you know, 
he was on my memory that in, in 2012, 2013, that it was NATO uh, defense generals that, uh, you know, they wanted to, uh, to, uh, to kill Macron because of this stuff. They, want, they, they find out about what the French did and, uh, you know, that it was, um, you know, they just, they wanted to make me feel that they, they wanted to choke them literally because of what they did, because of what they have sold to the Russians. But, you know, this is how the sale works. This is a part of the sale, basically. It was all part of the sale, making Putin, uh, you know, it was all about, I, and, uh, you know, always they use the language, uh, we don't know whether we should give this or not, and so on, you know, if this is not too dangerous, and so on. So the Russians... What they were doing, they were purchasing absolutely everything from the United States of America, from West, on general. Uh, and, you know, this shit was so efficient when this American general started to stress bombs on me. I became again guilty that, uh, that I might have fucked uh, Ukraine because of me, because of this fighter jet, because fighter jet so efficient and so on. Uh, that I might have been the one that I don't know what the fuck I did and this and that and the French uh, they should be even thrown out of the NATO pact uh, and the French uh, they stressed the issues against French one issue after another what they did was and so on uh, and it came out that it was not as originally that Macron was uh, took the initiative Convince me that it was that it was uh, French uh, who invented this uh, fight budget uh, and La France. Uh, it was not. He came out clearly. Even Prince Harry suggested me that this was actually taken from the NATO network. Um, explained me. It was Joe Biden. It was American politicians and NATO politicians. Germans were acted like they were stressed out. It, it came out, the truth came out about this fighter jet. By the way, Prince Harry knows much more about Ukraine than what I initially would give one credit for. He, in the background, espionage for absolutely everything. Uh, and it became evident that the NATO is using a network just something like uh, similar, let's say, to this thing here. You see? It's but this is between the planes. But it became evident that they have a computerized system where all kinds of ideas, uh, designs, etc., etc., are located inside of this computer. And based on this uh, computer designs and stuff, then they developed their projects. Not, however, the French also told me, not all the ideas are inside of this computer, obviously. Sometimes they put this inside, sometimes they're not. But the fighter jet that French sold to the Russian side, the Su-57, in what uh, uh, is about to be uh, released, it's called the new one, it's called SU-75, this one here, the SU-75 was released, they, they claim here in 2023 is the first one, yes, so this was the French sale to the, to the Russians, and Emmanuel Macron was the one who did the sale. He, the, the terrible French, Emmanuel Macron, oh, uh, uh, bonjour, bye-bye, uh, but not so quickly, Mr. Macron. We did not finish yet. Oh, Brigitte, very nice. Uh, a happy couple. And uh, we see here La Marine Le Pen, uh, the stocks from the Marine Le Pen, they go up very high, very rapidly. Oh, oui, oui. 
Well, what I stated to you earlier about the rabbit, about this type of politic, um, no, this is not true. Uh, this is what they have used against me as a brainwash. Uh, our reality is such that whatever I would state, and I did not state any kind of mistake here, whatever the fuck I would state, including what I will state to you today, yeah, this is not the end of it. This is just a portion of it. I will upgrade this. Obviously, I'm upgrading it into video. It's not going to make any difference. I already realized, in respect to British royals, uh, in respect to this organized crime, which they condition with, even if you will say this, and they went on and they interpreted me during torture, news after news, they would release uh, that would benefit uh, totally other issues uh, than politically looking at. What they presented me is the biggest threat to me, and uh, now, the thing is that this threats that they created, it, nobody can modify it because the only thing they did was they used me to hide behind their political agenda. That's all there is. Whatever the fuck state and say and do whatever, it wouldn't make any difference because I was only used in a process to, for something. These are such a pedophilic people. These are pedos. These are such a pedophiles, man. These are these are pedos more than any pedophile in the world. These pedos. Where is the Donald Trump? Where is the trumpet? Where is the little trumpet? I I am just really happy about it that it came out like this, that it, it came out, in my case, it came out perfect. Uh, Joe Biden is a war criminal. And Donald Trump is as pedo, when you look at one, as anything can pedo be in this world. And he is worse than Biden when it comes to Israel. But I am just, I feel fortunate because they have facial characteristics like this, that they... Their body posture, everything, the way they, the way their conduct is, is so bad. It's so weak, really, so so weak. Maybe it has to be like this so it makes one sick. Nah, fuck this. The sale which Emmanuel Macron made was so strong, it was so impressive, it was so, uh, it was so convincing that yesterday when I was writing this article, because today is June 10, 2024, I was sure I did a really good job at pointing out this stuff. Well, the thing is that it was not like this at all. Okay, the thing is it was not like this at all. Uh, a sale of the SU-57, which was released in 2010 by the Russians, commenced in year 2004. It will make things even crazier. But understandable, because Donald Trump have a lot of these pedo generals in the U.S. military. He was, like, situated with the pedos. You know, FBI and CIA. You know, plenty of these little trumpets. trumpets. The sale of this fighter jet started in 2004. And the one who sold this fighter jet to the Russians were Americans in 2004. And it was in 2005, in 2006, that Pedro from United States of America demanded. Let me see if I can find 
really suitable picture for this. Now I will not go for that stuff instead. Because it's really something that it's worth it for you to to see this faces. Better from the United States of America went and started to cry straight to this shit here from London that you see right there. Oh, but you know, Emmanuel Macron likes him, you know, he likes him. And if it's going to be like this, you know, we took care of everything. We have a control, everything, but, you know, I don't have a control this year. Yeah, you know, I mean, we have Macron likes, yeah, you know, we gotta do something, you know, we gotta do something. And so they came up with this brilliant plan that Emmanuel Macron really, really, you know, did all the best to convince me about how evil he is and so on. I think Emmanuel Macron liked me and um, he got an order to make idiot out of himself and out of France. And so it was the American sale of the Su-57 and the American sale of the Russian Su-75 checkmate. This video, therefore, here is a malicious criminal video created by the Central Intelligence Agency, by a little trumpets from Central Intelligence Agency, even the criminals that are employed in American defense, used literally to trigger video from me, but in a completely wrong sense. And once again, being used to push Donald Trump forward through that rabbit logic. You know the rabbit? The rabbit rabbit? The George Bush and his father, this scumbags that started this type of affair, this type of politic. I think these are sadistic motherfuckers that should be hanged, by the way, publicly executed. And if they're not going to be publicly executed, these people, I did not serve the purpose to life. That's all I got to say. I didn't serve any purpose of life in this world. If I don't get these people publicly executed, condemned and publicly executed, I'm not worthy to breathe air. I should say I would not want to live in this world. It's a scum. It's a scum. It's not people. It's a scum. When you do stuff like this, can you acknowledge somebody tortured? with a rabbit politic that Americans actually publicly even support. They are so rotten. They knew about what this stuff was about. You know, and then they cheered these schizophrenics in rage, in madness, pissed all over American constitution, do absolutely everything possible to undermine one by employing Democrats through corruption to commit themselves even to hate crimes that are the worst that basically the new America was built upon, beginning with Lincoln, Abraham. This is very, very sad stuff. If I don't get these people publicly executed, I did not serve the purpose to this world, actually to my life. This isn't about retaliation. This isn't about my being angry or whatsoever, this is about the justice being served. This is about what they claimed worth, as Donald Trump suggested, is the cost of saving one life. This is about humanity again losing the war against those whom they have managed somehow to handle 80 years ago. You understand? You, the few billions of people against quite few of these criminals, and maybe there are one million. But it shouldn't be the case there will be six billion of people destroyed because of one million. 
That's why I said, if I don't get this scum destroyed, and they refer themselves as American presidents, etc., etc., I did not serve the purpose to this life. It's a scum. This is a coward. This is poor. This is shit. These are pedophiles, somehow not registered because of the presidential statuses they hold. But it's a field, the biggest field that ever walked earth. I did a really good video. Uh, uh, I should say a post here is everything is the way, the way, the way it happened. With a big exception to also what I did not mention was that the Chinese suggested we'll have a fighter jet uh, but two years after, in 2010, in uh, not two years after, in um, 2011, the Chinese side insisted me that they build a fighter jet together with the Russians. And Vladimir Putin demanded from me to tell you, the people, there is nothing American, there is nothing Western in this fighter jet. It is a total lie. Russians did not make any fighter jet like this yet, nor the Chinese that would not be American-made, copy of American-made fighter jet. In the background of all is, who knows, the Indian fighter jet, the new, the newest Indian fighter jet, Tejas, was completely designed and given to the Indian military for production through the Joe Biden by American Air Force. And the same thing went on with the Swedish Gripen, etc., etc., etc. So what I have to also to tell about this stuff here is that so it was Marine Le Pen, obviously, here that profited. A British, Emmanuel Macron, humiliated. It's a crushing defeat. Uh, we, the British, have nothing to do with it. They have nothing to do with it. But they do have to do with it. They have everything to do with it. If we go to 2005, it was the British royals that demanded neo-Nazism. Because it's Prince Charles that demands a neo-Nazi fascist agenda. He is the god, the angel of the neo-Nazis in modern world, just so that you know. It's actually much worse than the stuff that I depicted have taken in 1983. Things are much worse than that. In 1983, it was Prince Charles through the Canada who used me to present the case against me, a Ukrainian neo-Nazi, the British authorities caught Prince Charles in 1983, and he was given the ultimatum by the British to either stop advocating neo-Nazis or will be eliminated by the British security forces. He, with the Prince Philip, was left with absolutely no choice other than to comply with a British, probably MI5, MI6 service, and had to stop his neo-Nazi activities. And on opportunity in 1983, have used me for the last time to present himself as a Nazi. This is going to be here under this news here. However, obtaining from me the statements, which he would later use to prove that he is not so much Nazi, and it was in fact I that talked him into it. Imagine, a child, drugged up child. In 1983, um, I was uh, 8 plus 3 is 12 years old. Uh, talked him into neo-Nazi, into acting into, into neo-Nazi.
it's when the time when Prince Charles had to go undercover. But his neo-Nazi operations never ever ceased to exist. He continued to campaign for the Nazism, cleansed British police force, British military, British MI5, MI6 from behind, slit throats to all the decent people. Turn one into the underground neo-Nazi stock, basically. I'm not done with this stuff. We're not done with it. We just started now. But don't be surprised about the Marine Le Pen. Do not be surprised about Donald Trump. Because with me, obviously, it seems to me that you are losing all the time. Unless perhaps police is going to start to take this case seriously. And will approach this British royals with handcuffs. And drag them out of their palaces take them to the court, marshal them to the court, and get them on trial for their crime, for the treason. This is how I see it. Yes. Otherwise, you're going to have a rabbits jumping in your face all over the fucking place. Any TV station, any radio station you're going to turn, it's going to be a rabbit that's going to jump in your face. Every page, with every fucking page of a newspaper you're going to turn. I think it's time to stop this. Chinese, into the beginning of 2011, 100% started to build together with the Russians this fighter jet. This fighter jet was released within the record time, is what I was told and was not sophisticated enough to get engaged in any kind of military operation stuff and it needed to be much improved it is estimated that probably 50 percent of this jet is built by the chinese it is estimated that about maybe 50 percent of this jet uh, electronic and uh, you know stuff that is missiles and stuff like this but developed by the chinese it is estimated that probably on the new checkmat su-75 maybe even 70 percent of this fighter jet will be completely is maybe completely chinese designed uh, with the chinese missiles uh, you know that that type of warfare mm, i'm not saying it was chinese because chinese had the same capacity to get technology uh, during MK Ultra as the Russians. Uh, it is all dependent on the contracts uh, they signed. You have to watch this program from a uh, COVID-19 uh, genius, uh, Mr. Fauci, you know? You have to watch this, how he interrogates himself in the Congress. And just about any time he's going to go and uh, you know, whatever, he's going to tell us how he did what he did. Because it was part of MKUltra too. Beginning in 2015, Fauci was compelled to also create uh, self-interrogation, a future self-interrogation at the U.S. Congress. Obviously, the Donald Trump as a serious attempt, very serious about becoming a president again. And, you know, taking into account Sachse, Kaburg, Windsor, Gotha, Battenberger, Buttenberger, whatever it is from London, uh, this is not so stupid thing to assume that this would not be possible. It's afterward, afterwards, it's. Uh, it's a Joe Biden, the president of the United States of America. And this is the only man that is even a bigger war criminal than Benjamin Netanyahu. Benjamin Netanyahu could not do shit without Joe Biden. So if you pay close attention to this stuff, this American radicalism, extremism, 
this neo-Nazi agenda is just gaining the power by the day by dispersing people, you know, dividing people, the public in different directions and, you know, using a giant set of completely fake proofs, uh, using people to deliberately sabotage themselves, uh, people that were previously depicted themselves as adversaries of Donald Trump are now, you know, throwing themselves on the floor and, you know, it's all kinds of stupid stuff doing, they basically really are trying to defeat the laws of gravity. A Chinese told me they will release their fighter jet about two years later after the Russians will. And so the J-20 was released in 2000. They say here introduction was in 2017, but I did witness uh, J-20 is initial flight in China. Um, it took place in uh, 2014. I was uh, this initial flight of the J-20. 2014 J-20 is a replica, is a copy of the Russian Su-57. Slight improvements, I would even say. Uh, it could be that this is a better plane, more sophisticated plane than the Russian uh, Sukhoi 57. They stated me they will release about two years later. Well, this one took flight uh, somewhat different. Uh, you know, timing and so on. Um, J-20 most likely is superior plane to Suhoi 57, uh, but it will be probably mm. Su-75 that what as American generals insisted and Joe Biden insisted that they don't know that this is one of the biggest threats and that they don't know how this is going to be in da 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 and what is it going to be and that this could be the, the, what will tip the war and why the Ukraine would lose the war and this and that. Um, at least in part probably built in China. This baby here. Whatever it might be, computers, whatever it might be, whatever the issue might be, yeah. But I did for you today the state-of-the-art video. This is a state-of-the-art video. It's not, it, it totally points out who is behind it all and who is pushing international politicians to throw themselves down in a mud so that London agenda the great colonial Houthi, Iraq, Iran, Palestine, Egypt, whatever you want to colonize, where is out there you want to destroy, whatever you are after, basically you can see now how this whole thing, how is this stuff, how, who is, what exactly is to American politics, who is, Policing American politics, who basically American politicians, who they work for, who owns the United States of America. Now, obviously, if you want to be something more than American in America, is that to connect yourself with the British and uh, you get things done. It seems to me like the United States of America didn't make any fucking progress since the Civil War, since actually not the Civil War, but since they became independent from. British colonies is still the same shit 
still the same people are running the whole business. It's just twisted, it's just clouded, it's just the best video maybe I have created so far. Thanks for watching this video. I estimate that when it comes to the Sukhoi 75, if it's to believe Putin, who claims that there's nothing Western anymore in this plane and this and that and so on, he called this plane like a checkmark, it's going to be the ultimate thing. That's what here at 75. Probably that 70% of this plane will be already China produced designed whatever whichever way they're going to do this stuff but the one who makes planes better than russians that was not in a hurry so much to release fighter jet out and wanted to get like the best and have attached the only thing they did was everything is what xi jinping personally told me is the same as from su-57 except these two wings that you see here up front which is something that he took from other planes that he did for even greater maneuverability. These are Chinese. They make better now. They make better planes now, fighter jets than uh, Russians. And what makes Chinese fighter jets especially efficient in it is because they have this capacity of assembly, manufacturing, production that will definitely exceed the standards of even stolen from the West Russian fighter jets, such as, let's say, SU-57, which somehow we have not even seen anywhere in Ukraine. There was not much action. Um, something that Vladimir Putin claimed is going to release at the end of the war to demonstrate that going against his weapons, his advanced weapons, etc., etc., and only he would release these weapons if it would be like no way other than that but preferably that he would win the war in ukraine the way he did so far with the old surplus equipment with the old number of those tanks that need to be rather replaced or thrown away is in place yes west was extremely cheap with armament of ukraine the type of equipment ukrainians got was truly like a equipment and standards of war fear with Russia, for which West knew absolutely everything about. It was truly a real estate sale, which, however, it's impossible they would go through because the Europe cannot afford to lose Ukraine. It goes beyond uh, Marine Le Pen, it goes beyond the Donald Trump, it goes beyond these Nazis, uh, this about the security of the European continent overall. Uh, it's not about few people actually to even decide or the way they farted in my face during MK Ultra about how they are not going to help if I will be like this to Ukraine and this and that. I'm not Ukrainian, I'm European and I have the same needs as German in Germany or French in France or Italian in Italy or British in Britain or Spaniard in Spain or uh, whoever is out there, you understand? I have exactly the same needs. Those needs require me not to work for the warfare. Those needs require me to work for something that I can use to build my life. Provide for the family, etc., etc., etc. Like all the young people need. And Ukraine, frankly, is too precious for this continent that it would just allow to lose a country like Ukraine, that would be insane, and maybe even entire Eastern Europe with it. It just cannot. United States of America is a too weak country. It's a country that is too weak today, so that it could afford to lose Ukraine. It cannot. It's too weak. This country is too weak. United States of America need, on the European continent, a country like Ukraine that can counter a threat from the East, from the Russia. Russia is the biggest threat to humanity, if you did not realize that. It's the most dangerous country these days anywhere. You would match one anywhere in the world, yes? So I think 
that I provided with you state-of-the-art video that, so that whoever you are, the regular you, you will understand exactly who you are dealing with, what exactly, what type of scum you're dealing with, what your job is in respect to voting politics. Honestly, it will surprise me if I don't see you British on the streets in a massive protesting against scumbaggery behind Buckingham Palace. And honestly, I hope that humanity no longer is going to take you seriously if you will not do this, because you shouldn't be worth any kind of trust anymore from absolutely any human beings on Earth. There was 80 million lives lost 80 years ago because of the scumbags like those are hiding behind the gates of the Buckingham Palace. Thanks for watching this video. As much as psychiatrist Peter Kovsch hated, but I have to tell you, till next time, and there is not a fucking thing you can do about it.